There's actually nothing in this cup. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan. Thank you for joining me today. We're talking about a big three. This is stuff that I found that is also high quality. So um, you can find cheaper gear than this, but it may not be to the quality level that um, I'm gonna show you today. So this may be gear for the person who's basically looking to maybe upgrade, or maybe you have the money that you're ready to just go buy a good, um, uh, big three setup and you want to make sure that it's gonna last that it's gonna be good stuff So I've used everything on this list with the exception of one item and I'll get to why I haven't used This particular piece of gear and then why I'm even gonna talk to you about it Okay, so the shelter that I would highly recommend to you is going to be this one right here This is the Nemo Hornet um, Either the two person or the one person now. I have only used the two person and I really enjoyed it. I think this is a extremely quality piece of gear for the money. Now you may think this is a little expensive, but uh, before you jump at me and tell me how expensive this tent is and that there's other less expensive options out there for the weight, for the quality, for the warranty, for the company, for everything that you're gonna get out of this tent, this is a great, great dollar point for what this tent is. So the Two person um, comes in without being on sale at $369 and it weighs two pounds, six ounces. This is a semi freestanding tent. Um, the only issue that I found with this tent that I don't like is that the head is really narrow. So um, if you're one person in this tent, it's gonna work out great for you. Two people in this tent, I don't recommend it. I think it's a little bit cramped. Uh, the one person version may work really well. Uh, the downside to the one person version is that it's only gonna come with one vestibule uh, and one door on it, and it's just a little bit less room. But the one person tent is only gonna weigh two pounds, two pounds. Um, another thing I really liked about this tent when I was using it is that the footprint is small. It's a tent that could easily fit into tight spaces and do it well. Um, as a matter of fact, I enjoy it so much that I actually went out and bought uh, the elite version of this tent. <laughs> and you're like, why do you have both? Well, because um, I'm actually giving this to a good friend of mine, another friend of mine who uh, comes backpacking with me sometimes and uh, he needs a tent. So I've got it, I'm gonna give it to him and uh, he's really gonna enjoy it. So I got the elite version, which is not a budget tent. <laughs> this is $500, uh, but it weighs like two pounds for the two man version. And uh, so that's why I picked this one up. All right, let's talk about uh, the sleep system, which I think is the next item on your big three that you should buy. It's a budget price, but I don't think it's like a budget piece of gear. I think it's a super high quality piece of gear is a sleeping bag from Kelty. It's the Kelty Cosmic Down 20. I did a review on this sleeping bag uh, a couple months back, and I'll link that right up here for you guys so you can check that out. But essentially this, I love this sleeping bag for a couple reasons. One, it is super roomy on the inside and it's like not too roomy that there's a ton of dead air but it's just roomy enough that i can actually roll around have some movement inside of it and feel comfortable using it it's also fairly accurately rated so it says that it's 20 degrees on the bag but it's good to like 32 degrees which is typical for a rating on the bag so it tells me that they were um pretty fair in rating the bag it's a 600 downfill bag um it's got uh, a hood on it it's got um, a small little pocket so you can stash some gear in there. It vents down by the feet. This bag is priced low. In my opinion, they priced this thing too low. They priced it to sell is what they did. And uh, this could easily have been priced another $100 and still sold in my opinion because there are other bags on the market that are similar to this bag that are gonna cost you $100 more easily. So for what I can tell, uh, this is the best bag for the warmth to the weight to uh, the price and it is definitely a piece of quality gear for a budget so everything that i'm talking to you about today can be found at backcountry.com backcountry is probably the easiest to navigate website for outdoor stuff i have ever found you can sort things so easily to find exactly what you're looking for by using their filters. And then once you found your backpack on their website or a sleeping bag or a sleeping pad or a quilt or whatever you're looking for, you can then sort it by lowest price so you can find the best deal 
out there for what you're looking for. And if you still don't know what to look for, you can check with one of their gearheads by clicking on the chat function on their website. And these guys are former Olympians, they're former athletes and trail guides that are there to actually help you figure something out when some dude like me on YouTube can't talk to you. They gave me a coupon code, it is DANB15, so make sure you click on that. It should save you 15% on some stuff. Some exclusions do apply, but try it out and hopefully it'll save you a couple bucks. All right, so let's move on to the sleep pad. The sleep pad that I'm gonna show you is the piece of gear that I've never used at all. And you're like, well, Dan, why are you even telling us about a piece of gear that you've never used? This sleeping pad was told to me by so many of you, uh, either through emails or comments, and I'm talking a ton of comments telling me, Dan, why haven't you talked about this sleep pad on your channel? It's a great sleeping pad. So I went out and bought it. And because you told me to tell you about it, that's what I'm doing today. Now I've laid on it and I will tell you so far, I think it's super comfortable. It's this right here. Well, this isn't the sleep pad. <laughs> this is just the stuff sack. It's the Climate Static V2. Climate Static V2. <laughs> I got the sleep pad down here. Um, that's why I've got this here. But um, this is a 16.6 ounce sleep pad and it is uh, made out of a 30D polyester. Now, why do they call it the Climate Static V? It's because I think it's got these V baffles on it. It's probably why they call it a Static V. And this is the second version uh, because they beefed up the uh, material on it to make it a little more durable, I believe, is what I read on it anyway. But this thing only costs 65 bucks. And the only cheaper alternative I can find to this online is like those no-name brands that you would get from like China or something. And I think this is a much better buy uh, because it's a lot more durable and it's way more comfortable. Uh, it's a 23 inch wide pad, which is still a little bit narrow for my preference, but it's wider than the 20 inch pads that a lot of guys are using. Um, and then it also has a really nice valve system here that um, can inflate and deflate. And my hips didn't uh, hit the ground when I laid on it at all on my side. So it's 1.3 R value, which essentially means you don't wanna use it in cold weather. Now they do though have an insulated version of this pad that only weighs one pound 3.6 ounces so just under 20 ounces and it's insulated to 4.4 r value for the same width and that one's only a hundred bucks so uh i mean compared to some of the better sleeping pads on the market like the nemo tensor insulated pad now this one probably isn't going to be as comfortable but you know what for a hundred bucks you're saving yourself like eighty dollars on that pad it's got a little bit higher r value and it may be a good option for you too if you're looking for an insulated version of that pad. Okay, and the last piece of gear that we're gonna talk about is a piece of gear that I've uh, mentioned to you guys uh, many times in the past and um, used it in the past. It is the Granite Gear Crown 260 backpack. This particular backpack, I actually gave it to another friend of mine <laughs> who uses it all the time now. And the reason I gave it away is because I've got so many backpacks here that I actually prefer a little bit more, but for a quality backpack for the price, I think this is probably one of the best options out there. It's a backpack that has a little bit more pockets on it and a little bit more organization than a regular, just sort of a, like a ultralight bag, duffel bag type backpack, like the Hyperlite Mountain Gear backpacks that I use. So for you guys that are a little more organized, you may enjoy that. And the thing only weighs two pounds three ounces. The cost on the backpack is about 200 bucks, but you can oftentimes find this thing on sale. As a matter of fact, there's another version of this backpack that I found online. And the only thing I can tell different is just a little bit of the colors. It's just a like a limited color of the backpack and it's 25% off as of the filming of this video. So I can't promise when you, you know, go look for it, it's still gonna be on sale. And it holds a decent amount of weight as well. So, and at 60 liters, you can cram a lot of gear in that backpack. For that reason, it's on this list of quality gear on a budget for 2021. All right, if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe for more. I will put my Instagram right here. Make sure you follow me there, and I will see you on the next one.